All right, what we're doing is we got set up and we're getting ready to chum. And a lot of people ask me, um, you know, what do I use for chum? Where do I get my chum? Well, if you have a, uh, a feed store near you that sells Purina, most likely they can carry the tropical fish food. 33% uh, uh, Purina tropical fish food is what we get. We also carry it at the office. Uh, we can ship it to you in five pound bags. Uh, but if you do have a feed store near you, get it from there because it's much cheaper. But if you don't and you want it, you can buy it through us at TampaBayFishingChannel.com. But what I do is I get a consistency of water that I can mix it into a paste. And I know this is kind of um, repetitive that we've done this before, but there's still a lot of new people that come to our our uh, our YouTube page and have questions. So this is this is how we do it. So what I'm going to do now is go up front and start spreading the spreading the chum out in 180 degrees and then i'll bring it closer to the boat and we'll start chumming at the boat and see if we can get bait fish up here all right what i have out here is we've got the bait dimpling we've got pinfish in there we've got white bait in there i'm getting ready to throw the 10 foot quarter inch 1.3 pounds per foot talon cast net and uh, hopefully we can get the bait and, and get the fishing. So let's see what we can do. We got a mixture of pinfish and white bait, which is perfect. It's a good sized white bait for this time of year too. Well, folks, if you haven't seen Chad on the boat, there's a, there's a pretty good reason. Unfortunately, earlier this week, he was in an accident. Uh, fortunately, he's okay, um, but he's, he sustained some, some cuts and some bruises, and, and uh, it was pretty bad. He hit a guy going 78 miles an hour, T-boned the guy. The guy pulled out in front of him, and hopefully that guy's okay, but they had to airlift him. But, but Chad's going to be out for a while, so you're going to be stuck with me. I hope that's okay. So I guess I'm going to have to get a little bit more educational and uh, get it out there. Fortunately, again, uh, I have my friend Brian that has let me use his boat, which is very, very nice. But uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm just freelining pinfish up a channel, up a ledge. And uh, as you can probably see, there's an island behind me. There's no saying, oh, I wonder where he's at. But so far, uh, caught one, one grouper, lost a couple of nice ones, lost one real big one. So right now I'm freelining pinfish. My friend over here is freelining white bait. He's gonna be bigger than that. That's all right. It's a fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. All we're doing is we're taking a net full of bait, chumming. It's small enough to where I don't have to cut it up. 
people ask me when is a good time to use the slacker jig it's when the, that tide is pretty slow or slack is when we use it and that's why we call it the slacker jig because it allows you to have a little bit more weight to get that bait down to the bottom a little bit faster and right now i'm freelining these pinfish and it just adds a little bit extra weight to get that pinfish down in the strike zone and all i'm doing is feeding line off the reel just like this so i can feel it because that pinfish is swimming on its own so i allow him to swim down and when i can feel him get nervous i know that i better be ready as soon as i turn off the, the gopro i get hit come on man spitting up chummers and that's why i like to chum on slow tides get these fish off the bottom and fired up all I'm doing is taking this pinfish and hooking them right in the top of the head with this slacker just like this dropping them straight off the back of the boat and I can tell immediately if they're gonna go down or not he went down Folks, I wasn't ready for that one. Jeez. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, you know the whole uh, saying goes: you people don't, you shouldn't bring bananas on the boat. Well. That right there shows that it doesn't matter. That's a giant banana right there. <laughs> and all he's been doing is getting just hammered like that every single time he's getting hammered. So my dad and I used to go out. There's a there's a whole thing about this whole banana. If you don't know about it, the banana superstition has been around for a long, long time. And from what I gathered is that the, the 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 banana thing is because there's ships that sink with a bunch of bananas on them and it's supposedly a curse well the first time i ever heard this story uh we were trolling for grouper up in home assassin we had my myself my dad and another uh guy with us and his dad was with some people in his uh, in his boat and they were we were all trolling and my dad pulls out a banana and starts to eat it and the guy on my boat on the boat goes what are you doing my dad says, what do you mean, what am I doing? I'm eating a banana. He goes, D haven't you ever heard of about the banana curse? And my dad's like, no. And I'm like, no, I've never even heard it either. And he goes, no, my, my dad, he goes, he would freak out if he saw you eating a banana. He goes, get as close as you can to him. So we get as close as we can. He takes a banana peel. He throws it at his dad's boat. His dad literally freaks out. I mean, legitimately freaks out. Get him. literally sorry <laughs> he literally freaks out that this banana peel comes flying over the boat and he's like i mean he literally cussed us out and i've actually heard stories of captains that will not let you on their boat if they see you with a banana even if you eat a banana some of the guys are like you need to go to the bathroom before you get on my boat that's how superstitious they are i used to be superstitious in the fact of of I wouldn't fill my live well until I actually physically saw bait when I physically saw bait then I would fill my live well I'm not like that too much anymore I don't have pretty much I don't have a lot of superstitions if any anymore but I just thought it was funny because we bought a banana suit we put our buddy in it and he's getting hammered by the grouper and he just can't stop it like that one get up <laughs> God. Oh. Well. <laughs> How tall are you? You're what? Six four. Six two. Six two. Six two banana. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ah. Oh.
anyway so if you've never heard that curse before um that is that is uh that is a true curse that people actually believe my dad and i used to go out and we used to hang bananas around our neck and he had a shirt that said monkeys don't fish so it, we just always poked fun at it and i just was not a true believer in it and i mean we're losing fish but we're we're still hooking fish it's not it's not a curse thing it's just a we're having fun with it so Oh no, he came off. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. <laughs> those are those are not small fish. All right, what we've got is we've got some snapper right behind the boat. I'm literally watching them come up in the chum line. Eat a banana's got one on. Eat a banana can catch a fish. Cooper. <laughs> Banana man! <laughs> I can't. Every time I look at you, I just start laughing. <laughs> Bananas catching group. Banana. Famous. Tampa Bay Nanner. <laughs> That's your nickname from now on. Nanner man. <laughs> Nanner man. Nanner man. Nanner man. All week. <laughs> uh. As I was telling Nanner man, we we're off the ledge so we're having to pitch up just a little bit because the tide is moving pretty decent so it's taking the chum up the ledge and on top of the ledge so we're pitching back about 10 feet off the back of the boat and letting it go up the ledge and as soon as we get three pulls and then we come tight boom this fish on oh nanner man come on come on man <laughs> Nanner man with a tiny head dog. Nanner man can. <laughs> that's a snapper. Yeah, that's a good one. That ain't a snapper. Yeah, that is. Oh, that's a big one. Snapper, snapper. Chumming is key. I gotta tell, I can't say that enough. But you have to chum at the right times. You can't just chum on a very hard tide because that chum's gonna hit the water and go. But what we're doing is we're away from the ledge, we're chumming, and it's going up the ledge, and we're hammered. Ooh, Nanner Man just got his butt handed to him. So we're catching snapper like this, grouper. So you have to you have to chum at the key times. So again. What I'm doing is I'm pitching out about 10 foot, right about there, and then three pulls. One, and then I'll do another pull. Two, and then when I get to three, I'll start hand, hand, uh, hand doing it. Three, and I'll come tight so I can feel them. Like that. Oh! <laughs> Woo. Oh, it's breaking. Huh? Oh, it's breaking. No. I'm on. I didn't break. I just lost them. So if you guys sat sat at home this Saturday thinking that the weather might be bad, I told you to come out here. I knew the bite would be good because of the, that low pressure system coming up. Sure enough. Banana man, how's the bite? Spectacular. <laughs> I think 
I know what that is. I think I know what that is. That's called the stingray, boys and girls. Yep. I've hooked enough of those to know what's what. Nana me. Okay. Alright folks, we're using a eighth ounce slacker jig that you can buy at TampaBayFishingChannel.com. Do a perfection loop. Tag in through, go over once, twice, and then back through, tighten it down. That's it. Well folks, that was a lot of fun. We're gonna head in now. We've got some storms coming at us. So it was a fun day. We got a lot of fish, uh, missed a lot of fish, missed some big grouper. I wish we could have, we, we fought the dolphin. Our dolphin pinger battery went out. So when the dolphin wouldn't leave us alone, we had the snappers chummed up and everything, but it, we caught fish. It was, it was all good. Weather is absolutely, it, just, it flattened out completely. So weird. We thought it was gonna start blowing later in the day, but it just flattened out. But anyway, had a great time. Nanner man, banana man, caught some fish. As you can see, you can bring bananas on the boat. Or a giant banana, a six foot two banana man. <laughs> so it was all fun. We had a good time. Uh, and that's what it is. It's all about is having a good time. And, and again, um, prayers to Chad, a shout out to Chad. We miss you, buddy. I hope you get well really soon. Thankfully it wasn't too, too serious, but, um, he's sore and he's got some cuts and bruises and things like that. So just uh, let him know via Facebook or YouTube that you, you're, you're looking out for him, you're praying for him, and hopefully within about a month, he'll be back out here with us. So anyway, thank you again for all of the support. We really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, if you want to see something in particular, let us know. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.